Hey guys, Angry Birds Kid One here, doing some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to go through the 50cc flower. So if we head on to Grand Prix, 50cc, and the character we're going to do it with is Princess Peach. So we unlocked a new car part, it is in the glider section, and it is... The Mario Kart TV, or MKTV Parafoil, Mario Kart Television Parafoil, not even bad. On the first episode, we just used standard of everything. What's this? Paraglider. Where's it look? And we'll find that out after. So, on the first episode, we just used the standard stuff like this. So I think this time, uh, let's see, what suits Peach? I want to try to use something different every time. Uh... Should we go with a bike? Mm. Mm. It suits Peach. Uh, the day trippers. No, but I want her in a cart for now. You know, let's go with the circuit special. I don't want to take forever just choosing a car for you. Sponge wheels. The sponge wheels would be good for Daisy though, because she's orange. Uh, let's go with slim tires, sure, and then do we have the peach parasol? We don't yet. Hmm. So I think we'll just go with the parachute. Let's check the stats. Hmm. Not bad. Good speed, good handling, and decent weight acceleration and traction. Let's go. So we're going to do the 50cc flower cup with Mario Circuit, Toad Harbor, Twisted Mansion, and Shy Guy Falls. Let's go. So I got a new headset, if you guys are wondering. So hopefully the quality, the sound, all that stuff is better in this episode. Alright, Mario Circuit. This stage. Out of all the Mario Circuits, I'd say this one's my favorite. This game in general has some of my favorite courses in all of Mario Kart. Alright, Princess Peach. Three, two, one. Go. The music here is pretty good too. Alright, so who we got in this race? We have? we have Toad right behind us by the looks of things. We just got a point in, so let's go ahead and use that. Ah, crud, Red Shell! Don't do it. We're on a plant. You're in Smash now, man. You, but you think you think you can beat someone with limbs? Actually, you probably can't. He looks pretty insane in Smash, honestly. Smash Ultimate. Come on, Peach. Let's go. Oh. Come on, Peach does not need Mario to rescue her. Let's be real. She can kick butt. I mean, Mario is a good hero, but Peach can defend herself. Is what I'm trying to say. I think you guys get what I'm saying. All right. Just hold the screen shell behind us. Just trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention. Mm. Alright, on the second lap here. Oh, lightning! Who the frick struck us? Who was it, man? I don't know, but it looks like Toad and Lakitu dodged it because they had stars. Hmm. You know what's cool about this stage, though, is it's based off... I think it's called the Mobius, the Mobius Loop, something like that. So that's pretty cool. It's it's good course design. I think this is my favorite Mario Circuit. It's probably I don't know if it's the most complex. It's the most what's the word I'm looking for? It's just cool. Like you got Peach's castle there, and now it's upside down, and you go on this twisty bridge, and then you go on the other side of the course, like you're upside down from where you would usually race. It's just, it's pretty cool course design, in my opinion. Alright, let's go off this glider ramp. There we go, Peach, you the girl! You the girl, you glide along, girl. Let's go. On to the final lap. Now, the thing about this course, you can't really tell who's behind you, because on the map, they can either be right behind you in your normal direction. Did I really let go of that shell? I didn't even. Yeah, that was odd. But anyway, you can't really tell who's behind you, because... They could be behind you, or they could just be upside down. On the other side of the track, so... You never really know. 
Does this say? Does not say anywhere who's second? If you guys are wondering, I'm using uh, the setup with the Joy-Cons, and they're on the, the little Pro Controller-like thing. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I think you guys get what I'm saying. It's on the... Like, they're connected to the thing that makes it seem kind of like a Pro Controller. Yeah. As we most likely get first on Mario Circuit. The best Mario Circuit, in my opinion. I won! Ah, oh, Peach. And a blue shell. BOOM! <laughs> Let's view this highlight reel. See what's up. <laughs> Ooh, she struck by a lightning. The sound was pretty frightening. Upside down. Look at that. So sick, man. So cool. Not bad. No one was really close to us on that one, but it's 50cc. What do you expect? Not bad. Let's go on to the next race. Toad Harbor. All right. This stage. What can you say about this stage? Well, I am Princess Peach, and if you look to the top left, uh, there was the Statue of Liberty, but it was Peach. Statue of Peach. I'm not even gonna try to have a pun like that. Well, anyway, let's do this. Ah, oh, music on this stage is so good. Whoa, what the heck? This steering, this new steering assist mode is kind of tripping me up. Cause it's kind of auto turning me. I don't know if there's a way to turn that off or not. Also. Oh yeah, one thing I could mention, uh, I'm using Peach, you guys may not have chose Peach in the comments below, I'm mass recording these and I just got my headset, so I probably won't hear your comments until the 50cc, which should come uh, after the Special Cup, which is coming after the Star Cup, which is coming after the Flower Cup, which is this one. So I'll try to get to that in a while, but as you can see, I'm not going to be using the characters in order, I'm just going to use them... Uh, whatever I feel like, or whatever the comments suggest. You know how it is. Just gotta have fun with these video games. And this is my first Let's Play, so- Oh, you lightning! This is my first Let's Play, so... Yeah. I'm gonna try some snaking, the tactic of Mario Kart DS. It doesn't work that well in this game, but it's all good. In Toad Harbor, it has nice, relaxing music. Oh, where are you? What is steering assist doing? Okay, there's gotta be a way to turn this off. See, yeah, the little antenna on the back of the car, it seems to kind of maneuver you around. Like, if it thinks you're gonna fall off, it just shifts you way to the other side. It kind of trips you up a lot. Did I really only get one item there? Come on, man. Anti-gravity wall. I have a huge lead right now. Holy crud. Oh, you blooper. Oh, take that, the boost panel. And I didn't trick for some reason. Yeah, boost panels, and if you go in the water, unless you've already been in the water by a blooper, if you go in the water and we show. Oh, come on. We good? Are we are we good? Sorry guys, Bitdefender popped up on my computer. An annoying little thing that seems to happen a lot. I don't know how to get rid of it yet, but I'll try to figure it out. Okay, the audio visuals, they all seem to be good still. They're not glitching. Usually they glitch when Bitdefender pops up, but they, they look fine. So it's all good. So on the final lap here of Toad Harbor, we're doing all right. Doing all right. We got hugely on everyone else. We might even once we get to like some shorter courses, we might even lap some people on 50 CC. It gets kind of insane. But what was I talking about? Uh, I mentioned the character thing, the items. Oh yeah, the blooper. If you go off a boost pad or you go in the water. Oh, the boom! Oh, so many distractions. Okay. Anyway, if you go. With if, you, if a blooper sprays you, you go on a boost panel, or you go in a liquid, then 
the ink will come off. That's all. God, all these distractions. And also, we got first. That's something else I could say. Woo! Almost lapped villager there, too. But if you're already in the water, and a blooper sprays you under the water, it, I don't think it'll wash it off. It's only if you're on land, and then you go to the water. So let's view this highlight reel. I don't know which ones I'm going to save to the top six, but let's check this one out. Alright, just drifting along. Toad! Toad! You threw that blue shell? Why would you do that, man? You're, come on, you're so cute. And I am your queen, man. I rule over... Well, not qu I'm the princess, but I rule over you, man. You are my standard special move in Smash Melee, Brawl... Four and probably even ultimate. I haven't played ultimate yet or seen much from it, but I think that is accurate. As we move on to the third course of the cup, which I believe is the mansion of Twisted. Twisted Mansion, yep. All those boos, man. King Boo must feel really at home now that he's playable on this stage. Now, this is actually one of my favorite courses in the game because it's. Dude, like. Look at it! You go in a mansion, and then you dive- you know what, you'll see, you'll see. Three, two, one, go! And the music's cool too, so look at that, you're riding on the wall, on the side of what looks like a dinner table or something. You go through a library up ahead, and a red shell- dang it! Thought it would hit the wall. DK, don't you dare, man. I'm gonna catch up to you easy, man. What do you think this is? This is 50cc, man. I'm gonna come, come with you. And then you go on to this anti-gravity part, and then you basically dive into the water, but you're basically, it looks like you're just walking into it because you're sideways. And then you just drift along, the bone fins at the side are sideways. It's just, it's cool. All the angles it captures. Music's pretty eerie spooky too, like I was starting to say. And then you get out of the water, and then you glide back to the start of the mansion. Something I guess I could say, I feel like a lot of the courses in Mario Kart 8, like the uh, the new ones, they seem shorter than the previous Mario Kart's new courses. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. People always complain that the Rainbow Road of this game is really short, but we will get to that when we get to that. Owned, Blue Shell! What do you think? I actually thought I was going to get hit by that. Up. I usually have bad luck with that, but I am glad I just got good luck. Obviously. So these double item blocks, they are back from Mario Kart Double Dash, and they are they are good in this game. I was going to say, they are looking fine in this game, and why couldn't I drift around that banana? Come on, man. And now, speaking of bananas, it's got triple bananas. Yeah, this steering assist, I I'm... I wish I could find a way to turn it off. Maybe I can, but then I don't want to risk going in to the, uh, oh, another blue shell, two in the same lap, really, good thing I have a huge league, this is 50cc, oh man, but yeah, uh, if I can find a way to take this antenna off my cart so I can steer like a normal human being, normal princess, normal any creature, really, uh, then, oh, the boo again, well, it is fitting on the stage, then hopefully if I can take it off, I, I tried, what am I trying to say, I, God, I'm all scatterbrained right now. I want to try to take steering assist off, but I don't want to risk accidentally going into uh, the the cart selection and sh showing the new cart customization part before uh, the next part, if that makes sense. But yeah, the boo item, it is from Mario Kart DS. It makes a return in this game, which is good. The blooper, though. The blooper's been... I think it's been in Mario Kart DS... Wii 7, 8, and now 8 Deluxe, so it's been in every Mario Kart since its first appearance, which is pretty dope, as the cool kids say. Come on, I didn't let go of that, man. These Joy-Cons are iffy, man. Anyway, I got money, and I drift across the line of finish. <laughs> Voice crack, holy crap. Mm. Excuse me, I just had a banana, and now I have phlegm. Even though I drink water. Let's view the highlight reel. So we to... Villager! How dare you throw that blue shell? We don't know who threw the first one, though. See, you're inked underwater. Yeah, but the boost panel helped, Peach. Okay. Villager, man. I'm gonna kick his butt and smash Wii U later, man. 
I gotta play Smash Ultimate though. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna play this game. I think my second let's play will be Super Mario Odyssey, and then my third let's play will be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because the only two Switch games I have currently are this game and Smash Ultimate, but I want to do Odyssey first because I, I like Mario games, and I just figured... Like, I heard about that one first, it came out over a year before Smash Ultimate, so it's just fitting. Plus, Jump Up Superstar, uh, the song from, from, um, Super Mario Odyssey, is in Smash Ultimate, along with New Donk City Hall, the stage. Anyway, we are on the last course of the cup, Shy Guy Falls. I really like this course. It has nice western music. I don't know if it's western. It has a banjo. That's what it's called, banjo. I don't know if it's western. But it's pretty cool. You go on this, like, tilted piece of land, and then it's the coolest part. Whoever thought of that? Whoever thought of this genius idea? You go up the waterfall with all these boost panels, and then you go back down the waterfall. It is pretty cool. Riding on a waterfall kinds of angles, you get to see all the sights, and can I take this uh, shortcut on 50cc? I can. This is 50cc, right? I mean, it feels slower. Why did I just break a lot there? That was very odd. Why am I going so slow, man? Even for 50cc, this is pretty slow. Another thing about the blooper in this game, it slips up your traction, and same thing with Mario Kart 8. If I say this game, I mean Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because they have the exact same physics, I'm pretty sure. Because it is just the same game, it's just they added a bit in this game. It's like they ported it to the Switch and more DLC, if that makes sense. Oh, I just totally blocked that one. Great show. Now, I don't know if in this game... Uh, see how at the bottom left I have 10 coins? I don't know if I actually have more, like, um... How do I explain this? Okay, I'm gonna collect a coin now, so let's say I actually have... Oh, okay. So the coin... Uh, and I got another coin. So do I have thirteen? Did I have thirteen coins there? But then it just minuses by three from ten, because the max is ten. If that makes sense. And then you technically get more coins. I'm not exactly sure. Oh man, fifty CC is just easy, man. It's so easy. But like I said, I do want to do all the cups. This is my first let's play. I'd like to be thorough about it and learn how to record and devotion. But I used the coin as I got hit by the blue shell, so I got two of my coins back. As we head on to the final lap of the final course of the cup. I almost said final cup. This is not the final cup, this is only the second cup. And I could not get that mushroom because it would not let me turn that far over for some reason. Now, I don't... I'm pretty sure if you just, like, jumped off there onto the waterfall below, you know where the ramp is, I'm pretty sure it would just count you as out of bounds. If, if it didn't, that would probably be a pretty sweet shortcut. But then again, the world record would be pretty different for this stage on time trials. And don't worry, guys, we will get to time trials. And did I hear a blue shell? Yes, I did, and I'm gliding off. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, yes! Made it across the canyon. Let's uh, go, it is Peach. Because it's not Mario, it is Peach. We did Mario last episode, now we're doing Peach this episode with the circuit special. Uh, whatever kind of tires this are, I did not trick there. And... Something like Oh, now I get a super horn. The parafoil. I won! Apparently, I don't know if this is true. I've heard Peach used to be voiced by a man. Thank you, Bit Defender, again for showing up. You better not glitch my footage, because if you. be horrendous. Then I'd have to start the whole episode over, which would suck, because I just beat the cup. Let's view the highlight reel. That was Daisy. I don't know, for some reason when Daisy burns out in this game, she goes, Oh, yeah! It, it's kind of confusing. Oh, well. Peach's dress barely even fits in it. Really? You are my Echo Fighter in Smash Ultimate. You do this to me? We're both princesses, man. We are sisters, practically. Come on, why would you do this to me, Daisy? Ah, I've been backstabbed so much. Once I start Smash Ultimate, I know who I'm fighting first with Peach. But anyway, let's view the results of the 50cc flower cup.
All right, I believe that was triple star. I didn't really pay attention, but anyway, you have collected 60 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. Cool. 60 coins, and I have 60 points. Yep, three stars. God, getting three stars is so easy in this game. You literally just have to get first in every course of the cup. Unlike, I think Mario Kart 7, it was the same, but Mario Kart DS and Wii, I think those were the only other two ones that had star rings. I think Mario Kart Super Circuit too, but it was crazy. You had to like not get hit, you had to not touch any walls, you had to not fall off and get first and everything. It was insane. This is much more fair because items can screw you over sometimes. But anyway, we did it with Peach. So I don't, I guess there aren't any stamps in this game. Because I didn't get one after completing, uh, after completing this with Peach. And there's no stamp below. So let's check our results quick, and then I, I guess we're going to end the episode. I've driven 25 kilometers. Apparently my favorite course is Water Park. Apparently my favorite character is Peach. Circus Special... Oh, Slim Wheels, that's what it was. Parachute. All that stuff. And a bunch of other stuff. Alright, cool. 76 coins. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. So next time, I'm not going to go into the car... Uh, into the character, not character, cart customization yet, but we're going to be doing the 50cc star cup, uh, what should we do, you know what I realized, we just did the flower cup, Daisy is the flower princess, whoops, hmm. who should we do it with, you know what, you guys are going to find out next episode, who we're going to do it with, the 50cc star cup that is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Look forward to the next one. I'm Angry Birds Kid 1 and always will be.